back to the channel. My name is Muriel. I hope you are having a beautiful day. I hope everyone had a happy Valentine's Day. Um, in the last episode, I did a little bit of exploring. I went west, I believe, and I had some fun. I found some um, horses and I came across a battle tower and the fight was totally epic, totally cool, and I didn't almost kill the guy three times and run away three times and then we're just not going to talk about that but i ended the episode in this village and i it was nighttime and as you can see it is no longer nighttime the sun is risen but i had asked a few people i asked around because i realized that everybody in this village is super healthy and i wanted to know why and everybody pointed me in this direction towards this building and as you can see there is a red cross on the building and it says infirmary and the, it also says please you ca please use caution when entering this building i'm assuming that that's because there are there's sick people but um i came in here and oh hello bob you're standing on your chair you're not supposed to do that but i spoke with bob the cleric who is the doctor of this village i guess and i told him about my village about how everyone is sick in my village everyone's a zombie and he said that they had discovered um how to cure that and he also said that i could take his uh, nurse apprentice natasha with me um, and so I am going to pick her up. I did speak with Natasha. I have her consent to pick her up. I'm not stealing her from the village, but, um, we're just gonna pick her up and we're gonna put her right there. But also, he said that, um, it's a splash potion of weakness and golden apple. And so I'm not gonna steal from their stash because that would be rude, but... Um, yeah, all we'll need to do is make Splash Potion of Weakness and give the villagers golden apples. And Natasha is going to help us do that. I really like their little their little infirmary here. It's super cute. Oh, they've got a, a cute little chandelier. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave you to be, Bob. Um, and I'm just going to head out. Everyone is super, super nice here. Um... But I wanted, I'm doing it very well today, Brooker. Um, can you see? It looks like your eyes are, <laughs> your um, glasses are covering your eyes. Um, oh, okay. He's got to go, I guess. Here, let's put, <clears throat> here, let's put Natasha in here. And we'll put her over on the right side of my backpack so I don't get her confused with the horses. Um... I do want to continue exploring just a little bit. Um, I did not put down my waystone in the last episode. And I found... There was a field over here. And there was also a... Um, yeah, a desert. That's the word I'm looking for. There was a desert over here and a field. And I was wondering if maybe I could find some horses... I'm not really seeing any horses that I don't already have. Um, there are a couple of moles. Oh, horses! I see them! I don't want them. Look, look! Oh my goodness! Okay. Um, I... I'm pretty sure that I already have all three of those horses. Is there a different color somewhere? I'm pretty sure there's a white horse and a black horse. This one, the one that I picked up was brown. It's actually all three of these horses are the color that I picked up. Or the colors that I picked up. This looks super pretty over here. These are the flowers that spawn in my biome, but like the grass is a lot darker. It's so pretty. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> You're so cute! I want I want to take you home with me, but I I don't have any sugar lumps. 
A lot of cows here. I wonder if I should kill them. Cause then I'll I'll take the meat with me. <laughs> I one shot them. I'm so strong. I'm not gonna keep the leather because I've got plenty of it at home. But that's also another thing that I love about exploring is I can kill animals. Where's he at? There you are. <laughs> Man, it's quite dangerous. I think I should have been moving on a little bit faster than I did because it is it is ah I'm caught in the outside in the dark very dangerous here I don't want any of this okay as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted um I like to kill things whenever I'm exploring because then I get all of the meat without like replenishing my own animals and then I don't have to worry about feeding them because I'm just I'm just killing them as I'm going out. Uh but I backtracked a little bit. Where was it? I saw something. I wonder if it got broken. Aha! Leafy garden. Artichoke, Brussels sprout. I tried to run away and I ran right into him. Listen, guy. Eh, listen, guys. It's not my fault. I'm not keeping any of those. I want lettuce. Maybe lettuce would be in like um a wet garden. I think I've seen a wet garden before, but I I don't think I collected it. The reason I'm backtracking is because I remembered the 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 desert and I wanted to keep going in the direction of the desert. Especially because I haven't found a desert. <clears throat> I haven't found a desert before and so I wanted to keep going in the desert and and then if I ever need like a bunch of sand, I can just come and desecrate the desecrate? I don't know, destroy the desert instead of ruining the area around my house. Because there's not a lot of sand around my house. There are so many sheep so many sheep over there. What? What is that? What? That looks dangerous. I'm glad that the sun is rising when I found this super dangerous looking thing. That broccoli. Ooh. And cauliflower. And spinach. Ooh. I want to know what's in The spawner, obviously. Duh. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, you just ate that, didn't you? Ha! <laughs> Let me get my fire resistant potions out. Yeah. How long does this last? Eight minutes. Okay. Glowstone! What's going on? 
What? What is that? Am I- if I get up there, I'm, like, gonna die, though. I can just- A dropper. I'm scared! Mama! I'm scared! Oh, and it keeps going up more. I'm a dropper. Oh! It's good stuff! Thorns? Sure, I'll hold on to that. I don't need the rest of it, though. Because I don't want them to use up my inventory space. Am I just supposed to keep powering up this? Hey! Ha! Ah. Ha ha! I have fire resistant. What? There's a hay bale, man. What? What is this? Whale? Okay. Um. Whale? That was cool, I guess. I mean, it certainly looks cool. I just thought that there was going to be more in there. I'm thinking that maybe I should just... Maybe I should... Oh, oh quicksand. What? <laughs> Babes, don't... You ate the quicksand. Okay. Oh, I was trying to save you. Oh, um. Okay. I'm thinking that maybe I should just place down the waystone and then go home. Because I found the desert. And so I have the desert if I need it. You're very noisy, sir. I also have found <coughs> Natasha. Take that. Natasha, the nurse slash apprentice. I guess she's going to become the doctor of my village. I think that that's what, what the plan is. Um, but I'm gonna possibly build her, like, a spare room in my house. Holy goodness, you're so loud. I'm going to build a spare room in my house for her because the village right now is super infected and there's not a safe place for her to stay. And I would hate... For her to go live in the village where everybody is infected, everybody is sick, and then she gets sick, and then she can't help cure people because she's also sick. That would just be a really bad idea. Wow, there are a lot of animals over here. I love it. There's no horses, though. I want horses. Getting lots of food. Which is also good because I want to be able to get a kitty. To make the pet food, it is raw fish and pork. Pork? Pork chop. It's called a pork chop. There are a bunch of bunnies. It makes me miss Coco. Oh, baby. You're so stinking cute. So stinking cute. I think you're smaller than the other one. Oh. I literally just said that, oh, maybe I should just go home it, because there's not really anything else. But here I am. I'm I'm continuing to go west. I forgot about the desert. 
Hmm, that's the whole reason why I wanted to stop exploring. See, I just, I love exploring so much. And once I get started, it's hard for me to put a pause on my exploration. I made it back to the desert. Um, I also think that before, oh, it's a village. Hey, I also think that before I continue exploring too much more, that's the hay man I think I saw from that, that's that, um, thing. A spawner! Aww. Can I focus on my train of thought? I think it would be a good idea for me to have more waystones before I explore too, too much, because, um, if I find something like a, a desert that I just found, you know, I am going to want to save that because if I need a bunch of sand, then it'll be good for me to come to the desert. And I only have one waystone right now. And I also, I like to use those to, like, pause my adventures. Oh man, this village looks large. The moon is going to set soon, so I think I'm actually going to come in here. Hey, everyone is hiding in here and I'm going to wait for the sunrise because I'm scared of things okay this oh hello you look familiar nanny the librarian all of these villagers look familiar <laughs> yeah um okay the sun has risen and I wanted to kind of maybe look around a little bit What's wrong with you? <gasps> Are you sick? Oh, you guys don't have an infirmary like the last village. Oh no, that's sad. Is this desert temple your guys's? Um, I'm gonna assume maybe not because people don't usually like use desert temples for anything. Like they're usually abandoned. Um, so I think I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna come in here and, 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 like, look at things. Um, don't worry. This is kind of a cute little village. They're like a little desert village. How are the crops this season? Are they good? Are they good to you guys? Noriko the miner. Oh, that's kind of a cute name. I like it. And you're very pretty. This looks super cool. I wonder. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. I bet this is going to be a dungeon. Oh my gosh, it is. Wait. I could put my waystone down here and then come do the dungeon sometime. Ooh, that could be fun. Oh, what are you doing all the way over here? You're kind of far from the village. Uh, oh, well, never mind. The houses are right here. Ah. And there's a desert tower right here. So I've got two dungeons. Two dungeons right here. I could place the waystone, like, right here. What should I name it? <clears throat> desert... Dungeons. Yeah, I like that. And we'll activate it. So normally, unless it's a bug, normally I should be able to click on the waystone and then it'll open up the menu like this. And then you can click on the other, other destination. Sometimes it costs levels, but maybe this is just a super old version of the mod. It's okay, because I still have my warp stone. I'm glad that I made that then. And we will teleport home. And it's going to be incredibly loud, right in my ears. Let's just come inside and give, it, give the world a little bit of time to load. And I will empty my inventory. Okay, so I just finished um, cleaning out my inventory. And... Uh, 
The only thing I have left in here is the horses, and I also have Natasha. We're gonna set her... Um, you know what? We'll put her upstairs in my bedroom, and we'll place her, like, here. Hi, Natasha. You're, you're very, very cute. Here, let me just chat with her. Oh. Um. Maybe, maybe she'll like it if I give her a flower. I'm worried about trying to give her a modded flower, so let's find just like, ah, uh, yeah. We'll give her a poppy. Hey, uh, Nurse Natasha, I was outside in the garden, and I, 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 um, I picked this for you. Oh, now she's, she's feeling better. I, I, I'm so sorry that this does not feel like home, but, you know, if you want, you could sleep, um, in my bed, and I can sleep on the couch. Like, I really don't mind. Um, but... But, uh, yeah, just feel free. The kitchen is downstairs. Do whatever you must. Um, and I'm actually also going to put down my horses as well. And in the last episode, if you guys remember, they were kind of glitchy. So I'm pretty sure that the mod, um, I'm pretty sure that the golden lasso mm. mod does not interact with the Mo Creatures mod very well. And, but there are pet amulets from the Mo Creatures mod. Okay, so... Okay, Bert. Bert's gonna go right there. And there's Cynthia and Abby. I'm gonna make some pet amulets before we end the episode we'll go ahead and make three i also need gold nuggets perfect there we go and we'll put those in here and now i have all of these golden lassos but that's okay all right well i'm going to go ahead and end this episode we'll go stand by natasha because I hope that we can become friends. I'm doing very well today, Natasha. I hope that you're settling in all right. Um, if you need anything, please let me know, please. Um, but is it okay if I stand next to you for a second? And um, I'm just gonna, here, let me just, there we go, we can, we can be, we can be besties. Okay guys, I hope you guys liked today's episode. We did a little bit more exploring and we are home now and we brought Natasha back. I plan on making her a bedroom, all, probably off camera because it's not going to be anything too crazy, too special. But um, I plan on moving her into the village as soon as I possibly can because we, we need to start healing some of the villagers and I'm sure that she is eager to start her work in the village, but we don't have an infirmary for her yet, so we're gonna build that. We're gonna also get started on the horses, also, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do next, but we will, we will get things done, that's what we're gonna do. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, eh, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. But my name is Marielle, and I will see you all later. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye.